All right, the next thing that we want to talk about is how to write rational expressions in lowest terms. Now, before we uh, see how we can write rational expressions in lowest terms, let's go ahead and talk about a little um, about what the lowest terms are and a property that we will be using to uh, help us out here. Now, when you are trying to write expressions or rational expressions in lowest terms, the idea is that between your numerator and denominator, your greatest common factor should be 1, nothing greater than 1. So, um, you know, whatever expression you have, you want to check to make sure for it to be in lowest terms, you have to satisfy this condition. Your greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator has to be a 1, okay? Now, let's talk about the fundamental property of rational expressions because this property is what will help us in writing the expressions um, in lowest terms. Now, the property says if you have p over q as a rational expression and k uh, represents any polynomial uh, where, of course, k does not equal 0, then if you take your rational expression p over q and multiply your numerator and your denominator by this polynomial k, it is still equal to uh, p over q, okay? How is that possible? How does this fundamental property of rational expression work when you multiply your numerator and denominator by the k, you still end up with p over q? The idea is this property is based on the identity property of multiplication, okay? And what the identity property of multiplication talks about is um, really pretty straightforward. Um, let's see how this breaks down for us, okay? Let's say you have your pk over qk, okay? You had your pk over q of qk. If you take that and rewrite it as p over q times k over k, so we're just basically breaking it down into two separate um, expressions here, okay? Product of two separate expressions. Now, k over k, since it's the same term, you cancel out and that becomes a 1. It's just like having 2 over 2 is equal to 1, or, you know, 5 over 5 equals 1. That's the same idea here. So p over q times 1 is the same thing as p over q. That's the identity property of multiplication, and that is what your fundamental property is based on. Okay, And this is the property we are going to use here to help us write rational expressions in lowest terms. So let's go ahead and take a look at some simple examples here. Okay, Let's say we have this expression. 18r to the third um, over 6r. Now, to write this rational expression in lowest terms, what I have done is just expanded out our um, expressions here. You have 18r to the third. So um, I am breaking 18 down into 3 times 6. And then r to the third is the same thing as r times r times r. Okay, r multiplied into itself. 3 times, and then your denominator is 6 times r, so I just left it as it is. Now, you will notice when I was breaking down 18, I broke it down into 3 times 6, and the reason I did that was because we can have a 6 in our numerator and a 6 in our denominator. Now, what this does for us is you can take all your um, common values between the numerator and denominator and cancel those out. It's kind of like what we did here when you have k over k, we reduce it down to a 1. We'll do the same thing with our example here. You have 6 over 6, so you can cancel that out. And uh, let's see, we have 1r, which is common. So you can go ahead and cancel the common r out also. Now, once we ca cancel out all the common expressions, let's see what are we left with. You have 3 r r on your numerator, so that's your 3 r squared. Okay? And on your denominator, since we canceled out both the 6 and the r, 
that tells us we're left with just a 1 in our denominator. So this expression in its lowest terms equals 3r squared. And that's the answer that we're looking for. Okay? Let's look at another example here. You have 27 p squared over 9p. You want to do uh, almost a similar kind of thing that you did in the first example. Go ahead and break these down. So 27, now since your denominator is a 9, we'll go ahead and uh, write 27 as 3 times 9. And then p squared, of course, means p times p. And your denominator will be 9 times p. Okay, so just like we did earlier, go ahead and cancel out all your common factors. So you can cancel out the 9's and you can cancel out one of the p's. So that leaves us with, let's see, 3p on the numerator. And same thing happened in our denominator, 9 and the p both got canceled. So again, you're left with just a 1. And this expression will reduce down to 3p. Okay? So these were just some basic examples of how you can write a rational expression in lowest terms. Now let's go ahead and do a quick recap of how to do this. The first thing you would have to do is factor your numerator and denominator completely. Okay, like in our examples we broke down our 18 and 27. So, you know, depending on what kind of expression you have, you factor your numerator and denominator completely. Then you use the fundamental property to divide out any common factors, okay? These are the two steps involved in working with rational expressions.